Hi everyone, I have got a brand new double pattern release from Pattern Emporium. This is going to really excite you. I'm out here having a margarita, a sneaky margarita, because the pattern is very aptly named the Vacation Vibes Palazzo Pants and the Low Key Cami. So I thought I really need to be presenting these to you guys with a cocktail out in my courtyard. Now it's a really warm day here in Melbourne. It's 30 degrees. So this is a fantastic pattern to make for this time of year here in Australia being in summer but there are also a lot of different options for my northern hemisphere friends now if you're in the northern hemisphere don't worry because there are a lot of winter versions here that you can make to fit into your wardrobe that Kate presented on Sunday night now I love watching Kate because she not only gives you different variations of fabrics to mix and match but she will show you the different patterns that are also on sale with these brand new patterns that you can mix and match back and those patterns are all 15% off while the new patterns are released as well so that's a fantastic time to take up those new releases with those old favorites now the excellent pattern the vacation vibes palazzo pants are fantastic you may remember last year the palazzo pants that we had were the knit fabric well these are woven ones and they are brilliant really easy to wear full elastic waist just so drapey and comfortable and you can really make them in just about any beautiful fabric for summer or for winter let me show you what i've done with mine The first pair I made was in a beautiful uh, tropical black and cream printed round from Super Cheap Fabrics. And I've gone for the subtle leg, so not the dramatic, just the subtle leg. And I've also done them just at the regular length, but I've actually taken a smidge off the bottoms of mine. And I've paired it with a cami made in a linen, a lightweight linen with a square neckline. And I've opted for the tie up um, ties. The second pair of lights that I made was in a beautiful cotton and silk voile. I've had this fabric in my stash for about a year now and it just speaks summertime. It's beautiful to wear because that cotton and silk breathes lovely as well. I've got that on with a ready to wear uh, red tank top but you can of course make the time out tank would match perfectly with that. If I had had some red cotton jersey fabric I would have definitely made the time out tank because I love that head back with the palazzo pants so the vacation vibes do have many different options you've got a lot of different pocket options you'll see there's the foxy pocket there's the patch style pocket and there's the hidden pocket you've also got options for waist ties you can either do just the full elastic you can do a drawstring option or you can do just a tie front option you can also do a special hack on these pants that is like a harem style with the elastic around the bottom. I love those and I would love to make those in a floaty light rayon because I just love that look of kind of a boho genie style pant. Really easy to wear. And they do actually look gorgeous with a little pair of strappy heels as well to dress them up or with some Converse style trainers. Now let's talk about the low key cami. If you're like me and camis are not something that you wear a lot of in the wardrobe, mainly because of the whole um, bra issue, you can actually do a wider strap version in this. And I think Kate was uh, working on this while I was filming this episode, uh, that you can actually make them wide enough to wear a bra.
if you don't mind the fact that they're a thinner strap uh, I tend to find that things like strapless bars can be really uncomfortable so I love wearing the Bandau style bras I'll put a pick up of the one I use um, I know I'm about a D cup they still give you a great support but they're not uncomfortable they're very easy to wear and the cotton blend ones that I use I just love wearing them in summertime um, but of course if you're wanting more support that thicker strap option may be the way to go if you're not if you don't have a good strapless bra but there is nothing nicer than wearing a strappy top for those warm days i think this would be gorgeous made in a dress as well uh, especially for people who want to layer it if you're in a cooler climate and you want to layer it i think a penny style dress would work perfectly the one i have on here i really had a great play with because i wanted to use up some little off cuts of fabric that i had um, some half meter or 30 centimeter wide pieces I've had my stash for many years and I just thought they complemented each other perfectly because they're both um, burnout velvet woven fabric so this is for a woven fabric this uh, cami the low key cami the options of course are the square neck the round neck and the v-neck the tie options you have are the tie up ties the fixed ties you can do adjustable ties you can also do things like little glitzy uh, hardware if you wanted some little uh, rings there or some little diamantes that would look beautiful too so it's a great scrap buster if you wanted to do the two pieces like i have maybe you have some different fabrics in the stash you could far more complement each other i think it's turned out really lovely and I've just done a little facing on the inside with just some lining fabric because I didn't have enough of this fabric. So as long as you have something that is a similar weight, um, you can make the facing out of just about any fabric you have there just to save on fabric. I think this would be a perfect uh, cami to make for the Christmas season in a glitzy, glam looking fabric. I'm thinking things like Lurex, um, sequins, um, just glittery silvers and maybe some beautiful velvets. Don't forget it has to be a woven style velvet. So the one I've used in the other pick was a more of a woven style velvet. So it's very lightweight, but not that pané stretchy fabric fabric because you can really showcase a gorgeous fabric something really special and glam for Christmas with a um, a top that only takes a meter of fabric to a meter and a half at the most so it's something like that you can really uh, go all out and get something really special to make a gorgeous Christmas top and I think under a, a little jacket this kind of glitzy top is really practical and easy to have in the wardrobe to layer back through all of your garments even with a pair of good fitting jeans and heels I think you can really dress up for a nice evening out I've made size 14s in all of my um, vacation vibes palazzos and in the cami top and I've gone for the dartless option because of my uh, bust size the ratio from full to upper bust if it's over a certain amount you need to do a full bust adjustment then the dart option will be perfect for you to get that perfect fitting cami top um, yeah you really just need to do a bit of measuring and find out what category you fall into there but 14s in these two worked perfectly the little black linen cami I shortened that I took a probably about 10 centimeters off the length and I also put a bit of fusible heat and bond on that hem just to make it sit nice and flat as well think about beautiful things like drapey fabrics for for example the palazzo pants gorgeous in rayons viscoses cotton voils are just stunning nice and light and also linens linen tensils tensile twills rayon twills really anything lovely and drapey but definitely uh, it's gorgeous in things like lysol twills something a little bit more thick and dramatic kate does give fantastic tutorials really does um, hold your hand right way through with a step-by-step -step guide not only the visuals but the way it's written i think you can jump to certain steps depending on what versions you're making of what so uh very easy easy to follow and really easy to make i made um three camis in one day once you've made one it really sets you up you just know exactly how to follow it and two pairs of palazzo pants the next day so um really really easy tutorial for making the palazzo pants they are just wonderful to make up and very beginner friendly as well but so comfortable secret pajamas is the first word that comes to mind and i would love to make a set in uh like a lingerie set i want to make a pajama lightweight maybe a cotton voile or maybe a soft rayon uh, in a shorter style 
Palazzo, um, Vacation Vibes Palazzos and the little low-key cami to have as a set, maybe with that songbird duster. Uh, I just simply ran out of time to make that. I really wanted to make that to show you guys, but it will be in my future. I just love how you can cater your things like your high, you want to make the short, tall or regular length pants, and you've got things like bust, um, fuller bust with darts or dartless. Um, Kate really has thought of everything. So go ahead and watch the video. You can see exactly what Kate's made and what fabric she's loved using. My personal favourites definitely um, that rayon for the pants and that um, cotton silk voile just beautiful um, that was from Potter and Co about a year ago that silk uh, cotton fabric so I don't know if they have any more of that left but yeah definitely um, any kind of rounds beautiful with pants tops think about things like you woven like your linens your rayons your, your cottons cotton lawns um, the burnout velvet and this is just stunning but I would love to make it in uh, a nice sequiny fabric and a nice glam one of these for the special time of year that we're in now also i would really appreciate it if you would use my affiliate link i have a link below in the comments i do get a very small percentage of the sales uh, for these patent emporium patent double release that does go towards my channel so that really helps the channel out so thank you so much if you've done that in the past and a lot of you have gone on to do that and also the other patterns that are on sale don't forget the time out tank the songbird duster and the besties tea also on sale and also 15 percent off and yeah, great time to snap up a bargain for the wonderful patterns from Pattern Emporium. This is their last pattern release for the year. So jump on over and have a look at what they've got to offer and some fantastic brand new patterns. I love it when there's a double release and they are complimentary. They go together, but really versatile, easy to wear and love a good pair of collots for this time of year. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, this is the second episode I've had it for today. I've had my Vlogmas episodes uh, that you've all been enjoying and you need to go and watch those to see what you can win for the day. Do write in the comments below and there will be a randomly generated winner every day for that. So if you haven't checked up on this morning's episode, go ahead and do that now. And I hope you're enjoying and sticking around to watch the rest for the next uh, 10 days that we have coming up on the channel. Keep safe and keep sewing and go and enjoy some sewing while I finish my margarita. See you later. Bye for now.